Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the how to proceed with PSV sizing. Okay, so what we will discuss in this video you will see when we go to the vendor for PSV procurement. So we send the process data sheet. But to prepare the process data sheet there are two other steps as well. Okay, so before that process data sheet what we prepare we, we first of all define the basis. So before preparing the process data sheet, first of all we define the or we prepare the narrative. Okay, in that narrative we describe about about the PSV and we define the design basis for that PSV. Okay, and after that we perform the calculation and whatever the result we get from that calculation, we reflect that values in the process data sheet and that process data sheet goes to the vendor. Okay, and after that vendor provide you the offer, right? And when you accept that offer, then only the manufacturing start, okay? So in this video, what we will understand? We will understand the how a process engineer or chemical engineer can proceed with the PSV sizing, okay? This is the part one video. So first of all, we will take just uh, overview and in our upcoming videos we will go in detail we will also discuss about the typical standards which we used in PSV sizing okay so first of all what we prepare we prepare the narrative and in that narrative first thing which we uh, describe or we discuss that is the purpose purpose of the PSV okay what is the purpose of the PSV why you are using the PSV so the first step which you must check that is the where that PSV is located, okay, whether that PSV is protecting your vessel or the your heat exchanger or the column or the pipeline, where what is the location of the PSV, first of all check it out that and then try to understand that why it needs, okay, why that system needs the PSV, that is very very important. Like for example, whether it is need because of the code, okay, like it could be because of the as per the code, code requirement or it could be because of your design, temp design feature flaws or it could be the system requirement, right? Now the one question can come in your mind that is what is the role of the PSV? So that we have discussed so many time in our videos, basically PSV that is pressure safety wall or relief wall prevent the system from the over pressurization okay so simply it protect the system it protect your vessel or heat exchanger pump column etc okay so PSV prevent the pressure from exceeding the safe limit so what is that safe limit that we will discuss in our upcoming videos okay during abnormal conditions so what will be this abnormal condition that we will discuss in our further slides okay your abnormal condition could be blocked outlet fire exposure uh, your wall failures etc so that we will discuss what is the meaning of this so initially just understand that you are using the PSV to protect your system from over pressurization let's suppose if in one line you want the pressure of 1 kg okay 1 kg per centimeter square g now let's assume that the pressure goes from 1 to 1.5 so this will be your abnormal condition right so what we will do to protect our system now it could it could like for example let's suppose if when it goes from 1 to 1.5 it could create the unsafe condition for your this line as well as for the downstream system so what we will do we will use here one psv okay with the set pressure of for example one okay and which will save this pipeline and the downstream system from the over pressurization just i am giving one example now second what we will do we will define the basis we will define the design basis now what is the meaning of this so simply what will be the set pressure for your this psv okay like from at which pressure this PSV will start opening that is the set pressure then you will check the relieving pressure means when your PSV will be completely open then the over pressure limit 
it could be like 10 percent for the non-fire case and 21 percent for the fire case then you will check the back pressure so it depends on the type of the psv which type of psv you are using whether you are using conven conventional psv balanced bellow psvs or pilot psv then the fluid type which type of the fluid you are using whether you are using gas or liquid or water in gas which type of uh, fluid you are using chlorine or hydrogen or edc etc then to psv type whether it is conventional balanced or pilot so that we will discuss how to select the psv type we will also discuss how to relate this psv type with the back pressure okay that is important like for example in conventional type we like the back pressure is limited to 10 pressure 10 percent of the set pressure same in case of the balance it, it goes to the 50 percent up to 50 percent or 55 percent of the set pressure okay same for the uh, pilot it goes to the 60 percent okay 50 to 60 percent and for balance it goes to 30 to 50 percent then you will go go with the design condition what are the design condition for the psv okay then you can also check it out the sparing philosophy sparing philosophy what is the sparing philosophy for this psv whether you require the one working plus one standby or two working plus one standby etc so this two working will be decided based on the calculation of course but whether you require the sparing philosophy or not that you define in the your basis your design basis right then you can check it out the other parameters there are some other more parameters depends your uh, company to company and project to project then you identify the scenario scenario means what will be the what could be the possible over pressurization scenarios okay like uh, over pressurization scenario means like in this case your psv could pop up your psv could open okay then you will calculate the relief load and the orifice size for that scenario okay that scenario could be your blocked outlet okay in case of liquid or in case of vapor depends like in which service your psv is installed then it could be your fire case now let me in the comments box if your psv is in the piping system or in the pipe line so whether the fire case is required or not let me in the comments box then your identify scenario could be control wall failure because of the control wall failure your pressure could be suit up okay you require the psv instrument air failure as well okay if the instrument air will fail then your control walls or on off wall will be at the one will go to the fo or fc condition okay so we will have to check it out that whether it could create a over pressurization scenario or not then reverse flow could be the one reason overfilling could be the one reason tube rupture could be the one reason right inter tank transfer could be the one reason loss of feed could be the reason power failure could be the one reason okay and there could be the other scenarios as well it depends where your psv is located right i hope you understood the point and if you have any doubt in any scenario you can let me in the comments box otherwise in my upcoming videos i will thoroughly go with the each scenario and also i will i will also go with the formulas like which formula we use okay and how to calculate the relief load and then we perform the calculation so before calculation you must know that in which scenario your psv could pop up or the system could go to the over pressurization you will have to check it out that based okay based on the scenarios and then you will calculate the your relief load okay in kg per hour or depend in your project which what unit of measurement you use and then or if it's area okay like typically here just so typically you can see here for fire case i have just shown here one uh, heat input okay we have calculated the heat input and then the mass flow rate okay that is q divided by latent heat of vaporization that you can that you can calculate from the aspin 
ISIS or your simulation software whatever the simulation software you are using okay so that value will become in the kg per hour okay at the rate your relief uh, relief pressure right and whatever the corresponding temperature will be okay so at this pressure whatever will be the temperature that will call the relieving temperature so that we will discuss in our upcoming videos in detail okay so now you will calculate the area okay the area is also important for example for vapor case there will be the different formula to calculate the orifice okay same for liquid case as well there where there is a different formula right as per the api 520 now you have calculated the relief load okay you have the relief load and area now what you will do you will simply go to the api 526 okay and you will check your orifice area and you will check that uh, from d to t where it is falling okay and choose the next higher available size for example in my case it comes 1d2 so your psv size will be 1d2 and this value you will reflect in the data sheet along with what along with your relief load and your area your other parameters other process parameters right i hope you understood what i am saying okay uh, guys it could be a little bit confusing of course just if you have any doubt let me in the comments box otherwise in my from my upcoming videos your doubt will be definitely clear okay so simply compare your calculated area with the standard api or face size from d to t and pick the next higher available size okay and then prepare the psv data sheet okay because this data sheet you will send to the vendor and based on that vendor will give you the offer and based on that offer you will procure the psv so in that data sheet there are so many things which we we mention first of all we mention the where is my psv is located then what is the operating and uh, um, operating temperature pressure then what is the set pressure what is the relieving pressure okay then the main thing which i am telling the relief rate relieving pressure relieving temperature molecular weight mass density viscosity k value then your compressibility value then surface tension in case of liquid it is required okay your back pressure value the type of the psv okay so see simply if you will see these all values you have already calculated or already mentioned in your narrative and in your calculation like in your narrative you know the type you know the back pressure range okay you know the relieving pressure so that's why i said that before preparing the psv data sheet we prepare the two other uh, document that is your narrative and calculation and then we prepare the process data sheet so guys it was the video about the how to proceed with the psv sizing so i hope you got something new from this video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you